Hey, Yankee fans, what is up? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Let's talk about the New York Yankees of 2018. The first about 18 games, the Yankees looked horrible, okay? The team that you see now is not the same team that you saw, let's say, like I said, the first 18 games of the season. The whole dynamic has changed. The whole chemistry has changed. This is not the same team. Even Sonny Gray had to change his approach. Everything you see the Yankees doing now is like really the complete opposite of, like I said, the first 18 games of the season. It's a complete different team. This team we're seeing now is a team that will win over 100 games. The team that we saw in the beginning of the season was a literally a wild card team. And folks, Yankees fans, never get too comfortable with what the Yankees are doing for the simple fact that the Red Sox are still in first place. Like I tweeted, I said, wait till June, beginning of June or mid-June, to get a feeling of where the Red Sox might end up. We might see them as a wild card team. We might see them still in contention for first place with the New York Yankees. If that's the case, it's going to be a all season long thing where the Yankees and the Red Sox are fighting for first place. So like I said, the Yankees are playing the best baseball I've seen in years, but the Red Sox are also keeping pace. Are the Red Sox a 100 win team? Like I said, let's wait for mid June, early June, then we can make that decision. Who knows, it might end up how the Pirates, the Cubs, and St. Louis Cardinals all had 100 plus wins and you saw the Cubs and the Pirates what what was it in 2015 where they had a face in a elimination game and those two teams had over 100 wins which was pretty weird right these two teams were one of the best in Major League Baseball at that time and they only had one game to advance to the playoffs so that's what I'm trying to say with this whole Red Sox and Yankees situation. Let's just wait till mid-June or early June. Then we can decipher what team is going to end up where. You get a pretty good idea how the rest of the season is going to go. But yeah, like I said, as of now, the New York Yankees are a 100-win team. A completely different team, really. It's like night and day. The addition of Torres, Andahor, etc. Torres was the big call up completely changed the dynamic of the New York Yankees like I said anytime you have Glaber Torres starting in your lineup starting the game it gives your team a pretty good chance of winning so the Yankees are confident they know this the Yankees fans are confident when everybody feels like this that every time the Yankees play a ball game and they have a pretty good chance of winning no matter what team they're facing, that is a 100-win team certified. But like I said, the question is, are the Red Sox to a 100-win team? So that's the big question mark. All I know is the Yankees are the best team in baseball right now, and it should stay like that for a long time because we do know the Yankees have room to improve when it comes to adding an ace to their rotation. It's just a guarantee now that the Yankees will sweep the Indians. The big question mark in the rotation, Sonny Gray actually pitched a great game. One of his best outings of the season. Like I said on this channel, Sonny Gray needed to avoid walking batters, um, giving up a hit to the first batter with no outs, etc. He avoided that perfectly this outing. So I hope Sonny Gray improves because the Yankees really did give up some young studs for him, and it'll be a shame if he doesn't live up to that potential. But what he showed us today is a good sign that he might because he's just attacking the plate now. He's just throwing fastballs. He is not thinking as much as before. So like I said, a whole new dynamic to this team. Even Sonny Gray has transformed a whole new different pitcher. Like I said, it's not even the same team that we saw in the first 18 games. That team was horrible. That team was if you ask for my opinion, that team was a wild card team. So Yankees fans, I'm going to stick to my predictions. I don't see the Yankees getting a pitcher like Cole Hamels or Bum Gardner. I see them more targeting a pitcher like Felix Hernandez 
or a former. I think the Yankees will land with Felix Hernandez just for the simple fact that if you plug him as your fourth starter or fifth, that is really a deadly rotation right there. And people are sleeping on Felix Hernandez. You give Felix Hernandez a shot in New York, he'll really carry your team deep into the playoffs if, if given the chance. It's the same talk I heard about Verlander. All these Yankees fans didn't want Verlander. They, they said the same thing. He was washed up. He's trash. Well, yeah, give uh, Felix Hernandez a shot on any team that's in contention, and I'm pretty sure he'll give you solid innings. And I say that the Yankees will target a pitcher like this because they have years left on their contract. Going after Bumgarner, going after Cole, Hamels, etc., Cole Hamels has an option for 2019, but he might become a free agent. So targeting pitchers like that, it's not worth it, giving up prospects. Even if you target a Patrick Corbin as well, you need to give up big names to obtain those pitchers. And if you target a pitcher like Felix Hernandez, the price might not be that high for the simple fact that he has a big contract. So the Yankees are the best team in baseball, period. The hottest team really in the last two plus weeks so yankees fans like always this has been felix from ny news.com share like and subscribe i will check you out next time